Hello friends, welcome to Simple Makeatronics. The seventh inversion of Slimboard is wireless gesture control without any microcontroller. Here we require a sensor for gesture control. A thin, square shaped copper or aluminum plate is used as base. Four conductors are used at each corner above the base. Two diodes are connected as shown. Now a small, metallic ball is placed on the base. If the metallic ball touches to right side conductor, a signal is generated for right turn. Similarly, if the metallic ball touches to left side conductor, a signal is generated for left turn. In case the metallic ball touches to bottom conductor, a signal is generated for backward movement. And, in case the metallic ball touches to upper conductor, a signal is generated for forward movement. Due to the two diodes, the forward signal is converted to both right and left turn signals, as shown. Thus the slim boat moves forward. So, for the base conductor, about a square inch size, thin aluminum sheet, is selected. Then, a smooth curved dent is made in the center of the square conductor. Then, clean the surfaces for better electrical contact. Check the depth of the dent. It should hold a small metallic ball comfortably. Now take a cardboard or foam sheet strip which should be longer than the perimeter of the aluminum sheet. Now cut the strip to get four supporting walls for the aluminum sheet as shown. Then assemble them as shown using any gum or quick fixing glue. So the ball never fell now. Now, the aluminum sheet is common conductor. Now, connect four connectors at the four corners, little above the aluminum sheet. Take a bare, single strand wire. Make two suitable holes to pass the wire above the aluminum sheet. When the metallic ball is placed on the aluminum sheet, it must touch the wire also. Then, the remaining three corners also shall be connected, similarly with the wires. When the metallic ball is placed on the aluminum sheet, it must touch the wire also. Then, plan to fix the sensor assembly on a suitable PCB. The wire is bent, like spiral shape, and positioned at the center of the four connections. The spiral wire touches the base plate and acts as the common connection. Now carefully position the sensor on the spiral wire as shown. Then bend the four connections to hold the sensor in its place. To simplify the pinouts, identify all the wire connections and solder carefully to Berg strip. You may check that the steel ball is making proper contact between the base plate and the conductors at four corners. The resistance of contact may be measured using a multimeter. The contact resistance measured between the common base plate to each corner connection is about 100 ohms using a steel ball. So a ball made of soldering lead is used here to reduce the contact resistance. The surface of the ball is made smooth for easy rolling. Please press like button if you like this video. Subscribe Simple Makeatronics for access to more projects. And share with your friends about simple makeatronics. Now, with this new ball, the contact resistance is reduced to less than 10 ohms. To avoid ball is falling out of the sensor, a transparent sheet is used to close the sensor container. The working of sensor may be tested using four LEDs connected to four corners. The common base has to be connected to the positive and cathode pins of four LEDs through series resistances are connected to negative of the battery. The extra PCB, if any, may be suitably cut, as shown. This is the circuit diagram of hand gesture control system for SlimBot. 
the three pinouts of sensor are connected to existing HT12A encoder and wireless transmitter as shown here. Now connect the sensor to the transmitter board. Here we are using the earlier encoder and wireless transmitter system. After disconnecting previous sensor system, the new hand gesture sensor is connected as shown in the circuit diagram. This is the connection for 9 volts battery supply. Now carefully place the transmitter board on back side of your palm and hold it firmly in its place. Check that the ball in the sensor is moving with your palm movement. There is no change in the receiver circuit and slim bot. Now switch on the power supply to the slim bot and transmitter board. The slim bot moves forward, backward, right, left which follows your hand gesture now. Click the link here for making slim board base without using any microcontroller. Thanks for watching the video. More explanation and circuits are available at Simple Makeatronics website. Links for other projects are available at description below. Bye friends, see you in the next video.